So what does US law enforcement and racism have in common? Well, in California, there's a police department that can give you the answer to that question because in Antioch, California, there are 17 police officers, including the leader of the police union there, who are all being called racist by not only the citizens, but also a judge who released the names of all of those officers because of a racist text messaging scandal. And let me tell you folks, it gets quite delicious. Offensive text messages sent between more than a dozen Antioch police officers over two years, uncovered by the FBI and obtained Tuesday by the East Bay Times. Messages like this one, where an officer wrote, I'll bury that N in my fields. And yes, it was a hard R on purpose. That will be most unwise and costly. Your tax dollars at work. And we can start off with the Antioch Police Union president, whose name is Rick Hoffman, who in a text message actually admitted to being a racist because a citizen called him a racist and he said, well, she's not wrong. And when the Oakland Police Department was going through their own racist text message scandal and officers' phones were being seized, Sergeant Hoffman, who was a supervisor, flagged out said that he would destroy his phone thus admitting to and encouraging his officers to destroy evidence that would conceal potential criminal activity and now the next police officers and their encounters can be summed up in the following situation and the following screenshot and so most of these text messages were obtained during 2020 and 2021 and in 2020 after what happened to George Floyd officer Eric Rombro texted a civilian a meme that was mocking George Floyd and then you had Calvin Preto and Andrea Rodriguez who were talking about aggressively giving black people tickets and they said quote make these n-words eat s end quote and then you had officer Jonathan Adams who claims that all black people look the same and then you had officer Eric Rombro who said that he felt like he's at the zoo and then in November of 2020 you had officer Brock Marcotte who sent out a group text message inquiring about everybody's status and so officer Eric Rombro responded that he he was violating civil rights. Ron Bro texted Sergeant Joshua Evans, who arrested a black man and was bragging about assaulting that black man. He said, quote, I was bummed that beast was so fat cause he didn't bruise up very fast, end quote. And that black person's charges were all dismissed when Ron Bro's crimes were discovered. And then officer Joshua Evans said, quote, it never looks good on black guys, end quote. And then Ron Bro responded with, quote, just like jobs and responsibilities, end quote, which suggests that black men don't have jobs or responsibilities. And then Eric Rombro will refer to black people as gorillas, monkeys, and water buffalo. And then Sergeant Evans texted Officer Morteza Amiri and said, quote, I'll bury that N-word in the fields, end quote. And then he later on said, quote, and yes, it was a hard R on purpose, end quote. And then Officer Amiri responded with, quote, ha ha, there's no accidents with you on that, end quote. Which suggests that this officer and this sergeant and this whole department goes around using the n-word and jokes about it and so as you can see from most of the names that I've mentioned here these are not mostly white people they're mostly people who you might say may have Spanish as their second language and so stories like this proves three things number one the myth of the blue state being better than the red state when it comes to cops is a lie the second thing is if you want to fund the police you vote to fund racist terrorists and the third thing is you ain't gotta be white to be an anti-black racist as this story in the LA city council and the fact that most deputy gangs in California are fielded by people who are Latino and specifically Latino men. So until the Democrats in these blue states want to have an honest conversation, black people need to start seeing these blue states and these racist police officers within these blue states as no different than a well-funded sundown town.